everyone, this is Christoph Schmitz with Padcom Medical. In our last newsletter, we shared a great blog post by our very own Richard Bremer with you about controlling exposure in endoscopy studies. For those of you who wonder what difference it makes in a swallow study, we have prepared an example for you. Let's head to our media workstation software. In this case, the classic version as we want split screen capabilities. On the left hand side, we have a recording with automatic exposure adjustment. On the right hand side, we have a recording without automatic exposure adjustment. Now remember, automatic exposure can be very useful as you are avoiding overexposure when you look at anatomical structures. Now let's look at three consecutive swallows. In contrast to that, let's look at three consecutive swallows without automatic exposure. You might have already seen the difference in the two video clips, but let's go ahead and review them frame by frame. I'm going to use my slow motion functionality to get to the whiteout. We're paused in the whiteout and now I will use the frame by frame button to find the last frame that shows the typical overexposure of the whiteout. Now I know that the last frame of the whiteout is at 12 seconds and 500 milliseconds. Now let's move frame by frame until we can visualize what we need to see. This frame is too dark for us to see, so let's move further. In this frame you start seeing a structure, but it might not be enough for you to evaluate anything, so let's move on. In this frame at 12 seconds and 900 milliseconds, you start to get a better idea of what you're looking for. Finally, it is at 13 seconds and 33 milliseconds that we're back in business with full light. Now let's do the same without automatic exposure adjustment. Again, we are using our slow motion to get to the whiteout. Then we use our frame by frame button to get to the last frame of the whiteout. At 2 seconds and 267 milliseconds, we have the last frame of the whiteout. The very next frame might already be useful to your evaluation. When we continue, you see that at 2 seconds and 360 milliseconds, we are back with full light. With auto exposure, we were back in business after 533 milliseconds. Without auto exposure, we were back after 100 milliseconds. 
To benefit from both the auto and non-auto exposure, Patco Medical is working towards the ability to switch between exposure settings during your fees exam. Thank you very much for listening and we will talk to you very soon.